All right, guys, chapter 15, nuclear chemistry. The first thing we have to do, as always, is to have, make sure we have a balanced reaction. And remember, the total of all the atomic numbers and the total of all the mass numbers must be the same thing on both sides of the equality. So watch your molar ratios. And remember that the atomic number is the thing that determines the elemental symbol. Okay, so what do we got going here? 59 co -co cobalt plus three of these things makes what? Well, you got to remember that this number up here is the mass number. Okay. And every element, like this one, has the number down here, and that's the atomic number. Should be easy to tell what cobalt is by looking up cobalt. Cobalt can be found right there. So that means that that's element number 27. That's the number of protons. That's the atomic number. All right, so we know we can stick in a 27 here. 27 means cobalt. Cobalt means 27. Okay. So what I like to do is I like to say. 59 plus 3 times 1, or 59, 60, 61, 62, on this side for the mass number, has to equal 62 on this side, okay, for the mass number on this side. So that's already it. 62 is the mass number. So what is this stuff? If the atomic number is the number of protons and the mass number is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons, so this thing has no protons and one proton plus neutron, that's a neutron, right? That's what the N comes from. So there's three neutrons here. So what are we adding here? 27 from here plus 3 times 0 is 27 on the left. So we have to have 27 on the right. Okay, so if that's the atomic number of what's on the product, we already know that that's cobalt. So cobalt 62 is the correct answer there. Piece of cake. All right, what's the next one? This BI is business. Splits up into this plus this. Okay, so if we have 83 and 214, this side has to total up 214, and this side has to total up 83 to get them to be equal. So what plus four equals two fourteen and what plus two is equal to eighty three. Well that's eighty one, right? Eighty one, eighty two, eighty three. So this is element number eighty one. And this is two ten, right? Two ten? Because two ten plus four is equal to two fourteen. So the answer here for what is this? Is something 210 with the elemental atomic number of 81. So you look up what 81 is, that's TL. TL. Okay. These are really very easy. You have no business messing this up as long as you're careful with the uh, molar mass or the uh, molar ratios. Okay, so what do we got here? Atomic number is 238 plus 2 times 1 or 240. So this has to add up to 240 on the right. Well, that's going to be equal to something plus 2 times 4, or 
8 plus what is equal to 240? How about 232? Because 232 plus 8 is equal to 240, so that goes up there. And then we've got 92 plus 0. Our total of 92 on the left has to equal to 92 on the right. That's equal to something plus 2 times 2, or 4. So what plus 4 is equal to 92? 88, 89, 90, 91, 92. 88 goes here, which means 88 goes here. You have to look at what element number 88 is. 86, 87, 88. That's RA. Okay, guys, that's it. You have no business not getting these right and fast. Good luck.